Michael Ambrose Alexander, also known as James, of Upper Patterson Street, Hillsborough, Carriacou, passed away on Sunday, 18th April 2021, at the age of 70. He was the husband of Patricia Alexander, father of Michelle, Melissa and Ali, all in Brooklyn, New York, grandfather of three, brother of George and Thomas Clark, also known as Innocent, and Bernard David, also known as Mambo, Clessy Adams, Leah Jaffier, Letitia McIntosh, Jean Nelson and Leonora Alexander, brother-in-law of Carmen David, Hildred and Cynthia Charles, uncle of many including Anne-Marie John, David Jaffier, Edward, Vanwin and Emmanuel Buck Bartholomew, Dexter and Samantha David, Jerry McIntosh, Rosanna, Richie and Rhonda Abel. Other relatives and friends including the Alexander families, the Charles families, the Jaffier families of Brunswick, Prospect Hall, Beau and New York, the crew of Brangle Bridge, neighbors of Upper Patterson Street, Hillsborough, Carriacou and surrounding areas, too numerous to mention. The funeral service for the late Michael Ambrose Alexander, also known as James of Upper Patterson Street, Hillsborough, Carriacou, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Sylvia Eva Thomas, also known as Esme, of Coles Gap St. David, who resided at Richmond Hill St. George, a well-known market vendor, passed away on Friday 7th May 2021, at the age of 64. She was the wife of Martin Thomas, also known as Sayu, mother of Jacqueline, Solomon, Andrew, Norbert, Jude, David, also known as Geico, Gordon and Terence, grandmother of Demani, Daniel, Rebecca, Odell, Sheldon, Leah, Dillon, Ajaya, Kishona, Jazzy, Kanika, Ashel and Chanel, sister of Matthew, also known as Child, John, also known as Lazar, Fabian, Joe, Michael, Louis, Dennis, Gemma, Bernadette, Joan and Annette, mother-in-law of Rhonda, Nicole, and Lyndonna Thomas, aunt of many. Many relatives and friends, including the Pear family of Coles Gap and Corinth, the Bartholomew family of Vendham, the Agard family of Corinth, the Alexander family of Bellevue and Beaulieu, the Radix family of Bellevue, the Tellisford, Brave Boy and Charles families of Providence, the Moraine and Sylvester families of Corinth, Agnes Jones and family, Nurse Kathleen James, and friends and neighbors of Coles Gap and Richmond Hill St. George. The funeral of the late Sylvia Eva Thomas of Coles Gap St. David, who resided at Richmond Hill St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Joseph Kingston Frederick, also known as King, of Wharf St. John, passed away on Tuesday, April 20th, 2021, at the age of 92. He was the father of prison officer Corporal Judith Sylvester and Leiden in Grenada, Carmen, Sharon, Joycelyn, Damien and Cislin in the USA, grandfather of Alson, Nichelle, Andre, Onassis, Jariel, Adriel, Erin, Kimmy, Katie, Amica, Jamilia, Abby, Abina and Lydia, great-grandfather of 13, brother of Carlton Frederick in England, Anselm Frederick and Cynthia in Grenada, father-in-law of Percy Murray, brother-in-law of Lydia St. Paul, nephew-in-law of Cicely Batiste, uncle of many including Carnes Frederick, teachers Pamela, Gracelyn and Listia, many other relatives and friends including Roger and Lily Benjamin, caregivers Euslyn Bernard and Dawn Langine, the Mitchell and Robertson families of Harlem, the Frederick family of Granroy, the James family of Monk Granby and Mamacan, the priest and parishioners of St. Peter's Catholic Church, Gwarve, and friends and neighbors of Gwarve Estate and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Joseph Kingston Frederick, also known as King, of Gwarve St. John, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Olga Agatha Robertson, née Philip Walcott of Telescope St. Andrew who resided in the United Kingdom and at Westerhall St. David, passed away on Friday 23rd April 2021, at the age of 88. 
She is survived by her children Thomas, Evelyn Alexander in Virgin Gorda, British Virgin Islands, Sharon Licorice in Antigua, Yvonne P. Philip in the USA, Dulcie Philip Williams, Persia Philip in Canada, and Don Shane Philip in Grenada. Brother Neville Lessie in Grenada, Sister Isabel Marcel in Trinidad, Daughter-in-law Carol O'Neill Alexander in Virgin Gorda, Son-in-law Carlton Williams in Grenada, Grandchildren Stevie Perrot and Nerissa Philip Thomas in Canada, Rakesha Philip in Grenada, Karen, Issa and Shea Alexander in Virgin Gorda. Four great-grandchildren, Isaiah Perrot, DeAndre and Devonte Thomas and Iris Alexander. Several nieces and nephews including Erling Marcel and Karen Lessie Horsford. Other relatives and friends including Jean Edwards in Grenada and friends and neighbors in the United Kingdom, Telescope St Andrew and surrounding areas. The funeral service and interment of the late Olga Agatha Robertson née Philip Walcourt of Telescope St Andrew who resided in the United Kingdom and at Westerhall St David will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Annette Ellen Benjamin of Bonaire St Mark passed away on Monday 3rd May 2021 at the age of 83. She was the mother of Miranda, Janice and Patsy, stepmother of Margaret and Brenda, grandmother of Michelle, David, Melissa, Adam Rene, Raquel, Alexander and Anthony. Great grandmother of Jaden, Tadia and Amelia. Sister of Louis, Jude and Conrad. Aunt of many. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends including Florina Modest, Lillian Pear and friends and neighbors of Bonaire and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Annette Ellen Benjamin of Bonaire St. Mark will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Yvonne Mary Peters of Conference St Andrew passed away on Wednesday, 21st April 2021, at the age of 71. She was the mother of Raymond and Nzinga Peters in the USA, Lauren Peters Alexander, Akimo Peters, Shadel Peters, and Shago Peters. Adopted mother of four, Alia Lewis. Junior Louisa, Keisha Bowen and Hazley Punch, stepmother of Kelly and Augustine, grandmother of Javon, Rahim, Shadon, Brina, Sadie, Elia and Kona Marie, sister of Kenrick Thomas and Adrian Thomas in the USA, mother-in-law of Bernard Alexander, Angela Maguire Peters, Demal Lewis and Kenika Francis, aunt of many including Marcia Peters, Nakashi Peters, Casey Thomas, David Thomas in Trinidad, Katie Modest in London, England, and Adrian Thomas in the USA. Close friend of Tora Felix and Nanan. Caregiver Corinne Hippolyte Augustine. Many friends and relatives including the Joseph family of Tivoli, Athlin Hippolyte and family, friend of Anne Francique and family, and many friends and family in Canada, the USA, Trinidad and in England including Lauren Bucar and family. and Lennox Peters and family of conference and friends and relatives of conference and surrounding areas the funeral service and interment of the late Yvonne Mary Peters of conference St Andrew will be held privately funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home Rudy Vicky Charles also known as Faith of Rosal St Patrick passed away on Tuesday 27th April 2021 at the age of 28 She was the mother of Redonna Charles, daughter of Selwyn Lewis and Anne Rose Charles, sister of Zaria, Celine, Andrea, Tamara, Kerry, Karen, Raj, Brent, Demel, Dana, Lyndon, Mackenzie, Frida, Blackboy, Ivan, Chucky, Nadine, Sabrina, Kimberly and Anisha. Niece of 14 including Garvin, Sheila Moore, Nice, Norma, Ethel, Gloria, Erlin, Betty Ann, Douglas, Pusha and Sparrow. Many nieces and nephews. Many cousins, other relatives and friends including Sunshine, Danion, Kelsey, Venetia, Jeffet, Ray, Garvin in the USA, Nicholson, Angel, Bo, 
friends on the block at Rosehill, and friends and neighbours of River Sally, Mount Rich, Sertes, Latast, Tivoli and Gulf Course. The funeral service for the late Rudy Vicky Charles, also known as Faith of Rosehill St. Patrick, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Ricky William Lewis, also known as Chicken, of New Hampshire St. George, who resided at Ladigue St. Andrew, a well-known bus driver in the St. George Northeast constituency, passed away on Thursday, 29th April 2021, at the age of 53. He was the father of Kareem Beggs, significant other Rhonda Clark, brother of Lucille, Nelsia and Roy, Thomas, Eleanor Clark, Anthony, Martin, Desmond and Peter Lawrence, Stephanie Sterling and Anne-Marie Lewis. Many nieces and nephews in Grenada, Trinidad, Canada and the USA including Jason Thomas and Lisa Ambrose. Mother-in-law Bernadette Charles. Sisters-in-law Alva Lawrence, Nikisha and Lindona Charles. Caregivers Rondell Gibbs, Sandra Joseph and Celia Thomas. Many other relatives and close friends including Valerie John, Phyllis Victor, Nelgi and Thomas, Carmen James and family in the USA, Pastor Dennis and the members of the Lord's House family, the pastor and members of the Revival Faith Temple, the pastor and members of the Constantine Methodist Church, the Grenada Bus Association, and neighbors and friends of New Hampshire, Ladigue St. Andrew and surrounding areas. The funeral service and entombment of the late Ricky William Lewis, also known as Chicken, of New Hampshire St. George, who resided at Ladigue St. Andrew, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Catherine Joyce Mitchell, also known as Cousin Joyce of Palmero St. David, passed away on Sunday, May 2, 2021, at the age of 83. She was the mother of Martha Jones, Cosmas, Eric and Hamilton Pascal in Grenada, Demencia Mitchell Andrews, Lorraine and Dominic Pascal in Canada, and police officer Devonson Mitchell in England. Stepmother of Gary Batiste in Florida, Frances Mitchell in New York, and Ronald Mitchell in Trinidad. Grandmother of 22, including Chantel, Kenneth, Zan, Zimbali, Zick, Ricardo, Miranda, Kwame, Lyndon, and Mandy. Great-grandmother of many, including Ayana, Anayana, AJ, Jaden, and Caden. Sister of Gwendolyn, Joan, and Anthony Murray, Sui, Thomas, Charles and Abraham Pascal in Grenada, and Clarice Charles in Trinidad. Mother-in-law of Michael Andrews, Lieber Lewis, Allison, Rhonda, and Leroy. Aunt of many including Venice, Glennis, Jennifer, Daniel, Lisa, Jacinta, Godfrey, and Regina. Caregiver Vanessa LaPompe. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends including Kathleen Robertson and family, Gillian Francis and family, Lou Hall, Shane, Kim, teacher Denise Williams, members of the St. Vincent de Paul Society, Palmrose, the Pascal, Mitchell, Murray and Francis families, and friends and neighbors of Palmrose and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Catherine Joyce Mitchell, also known as Cousin Joyce of Palmrose St. David, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Michael J. Mark, also known as Eitel Rock, of Hillsview Grove St. John, well-known owner of the Eitel Shop on the Lance Grove, passed away on Thursday, 22nd April, 2021, at the age of 60. He was the son of Gwendolyn Mark, father of Michael Charles in Canada, Aquala and Akim Bishop in Grenada, grandfather of DeAndre, Darian, Davian and Junior, brother of Joseph, Anne, Joy and Devon residing in the USA, Anderson, John, Isaiah, Johnson, Shirley and Alice in Grenada, uncle of 42 including John L. Vincent and others in the USA, Trinidad, England and Grenada, nephew of three, father-in-law of Kida Ali, close friend of brother Courtney and family, Pan Osea Band, Carlton, Patrick Derrick Andrew, Alvin Collins, Alva Hostin, Timmy Joseph, Jean and family. Other relatives and friends including the Mark family of St. Mark, 
the Vincent family, Oslin Fleming and family of Gwarv, the management and staff of the Gwarv Fish Market, the staff of the General Hospital, are the friends and supporters of the community and surrounding parishes in Canada and the USA. The funeral service and interment of the late Michael J. Mark, also known as Eitel Rock, of Hillsview Gwarv St. John, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Kayleen Ashlyn Thomas of Lafayette St. Andrew, a former student of the St. Mary's R.C. School and student of the Paraclete Government School, died on Friday, 14th May 2021, at the age of 10. The funeral arrangements for the late Kayleen Ashlyn Thomas of Lafayette St. Andrew will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. St. Louis Joseph Collins, also known as PC and Pappy, of Mount Plaisir St. John, former assistant superintendent of Her Majesty's Prisons, passed away on Saturday, 15th May 2021, at the age of 78. The funeral arrangements for the late St. Louis Joseph Collins, also known as PC and Pappy, of Mount Plaisir St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Alistair Joseph Young, also known as Paley of Duquesne St. Mark, died on Friday 7th May 2021 at the age of 73. The funeral arrangements for the late Alistair Joseph Young, also known as Paley of Duquesne St. Mark, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Shirley Ann Noel of Grand Mall St. George, who resided in Toronto, Canada, passed away on Thursday, 6th May 2021 in Canada. The funeral arrangements for the late Shirley Ann Noel of Grand Mall St. George, who resided in Toronto, Canada, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Brenda Blairs Johnson of Café Woodland St. George died on May 5th, 2021, at the age of 71. The funeral arrangements for the late Brenda Blairs Johnson of Café Woodland St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Laurel Veronica Hazard of Vincent St. David, who resided at Creighton St. George, passed away on Saturday 8 May at the age of 83. The funeral service of the late Laurel Veronica Hazard of Vincent St. David, who resided at Creighton St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lockwood Brothers Funeral Home. Kittison Shane Duncan, also known as Kitty Boy and Spang, of Cemetery Hill, who resided at Grand Dance and Spring St. George, passed away on Friday, 7th May, at the age of 42. The funeral arrangements of the late Kittison Shane Duncan will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Erlin Paul of Paradise St. Andrew, who resided in Grand Dance St. George, passed away on Friday, 7th May, at the age of 50. The funeral of the late Erlin Paul will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Mary John of Florida St. John, who resided in New Hampshire St. George, passed away on Sunday, 25th April at the age of 94. The funeral service of the late Mary John of Florida St. John, who resided in New Hampshire St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lockwood Brothers Funeral Home. Dorothy Charles Sylvester, also known as Fatty, of Balthazar St. Andrew, died on 5th May 2021, at the age of 62. The funeral arrangements for the late Dorothy Charles Sylvester, also known as Fatty, of Balthazar St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Floyd Caesar Nichols, also known as Bomber of Birch Grove St. Andrew, who resided in New York, USA, passed away on Wednesday, 21st April in New York at the age of 55. The funeral of the late Floyd Caesar Nichols, also known as Bomber of Birch Grove St. Andrew, who resided in New York, USA, 
will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements interested too. Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. Edward Niles, also known as Statue of New Hampshire St. George, died on Sunday, 2nd May 2021 at the age of 71. The funeral arrangements for the late Edward Niles, also known as Statue of New Hampshire St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Emmanuel Jerome Gilbert, also known as Shorty and Ilaru, of Tempe St. George, died on Friday, April 30th, 2021, at the age of 78. The funeral arrangements for the late Emmanuel Jerome Gilbert, also known as Shorty and Ilaru, of Tempe St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thanks for watching. Fourteen and verse thirteen. Blessed is the day that died in the Lord. If your loved one died in the Lord, you have nothing to worry about. You could be confident that that one is in a better place. But what's about you who are left behind to mourn? What if you had been called? Were you ready? If you are not ready, you can be ready while you are alive. The word of God says it's appointed unto man once to die. But after this is the judgment. So you can live, and after death, you're going to live forever. You would not be disintegrated into nothing. You would be living forever. So while you are alive is the time to be ready to meet the Lord. I would like to encourage you to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ while you are still on the earth. There is no repentance after death. The time is now. The Lord Jesus Christ gave his life on the cross so that you can have life. And while you are living, it's the time to make it right with the Lord. Jonah said in, in Jonah chapter 4 and verse 3, yeah. it is better to die than to live. So the dead should be happy if they die in the Lord. If you are not sure that you are ready if your time comes, you can be ready. You can be ready even at this very moment. If you'd only open your heart to receive the Lord Jesus Christ and pray this simple prayer. Just say, Lord Jesus, I am sad because my loved one has gone, but I am left behind and I want to be ready when my time comes. So I'm asking you to forgive me for my sins. I'm asking you to give me eternal life. Forgive me, cleanse me from all unrighteousness and save me so that when my time comes, I can live with you. I trust that you meant what you said. I trust that you believe the word of God. And as we end this program for you, with you, encouraging you, strengthening you in your time of sorrow, your preparation for your time should be now. God bless you and see you next time. Amen. <laughs>